Hey guys, uh, Matthew Edwards here. Today we're going to talk about some Ohm's Law, go over the basic features of Ohm's Law. You have three different, um, three to four different categories depending on which uh, table that, that you look at. Today we've got all four tables. You got resistance, that's what R is, and then you got current, that's I, and then you got voltage is E, and then you got power is, is P. Also, voltage, if you're looking at different Ohm's Law uh, charts, V can be as well as voltage. So you got D and E up here on the board. What this chart is telling you is your different formulas that you got. So, for instance, if we're looking for the total sum of resistance, we're going to go in this area right here where resistance is, where this quarter of the circle is, and we already know what our voltage is and our amperage, so we're going to go E divided by I, and that'll be our total resistance. So that's one way we'll be able to figure out what our total resistance is. If we're trying to find voltage, we're going to do I times R. If we're finding current, we're going to do E times R. And if we're finding power, we're going to do E times I. And that will find what our power is. So the basics of this is if you're ever in a house and you're trying to figure out what your resistance is and your amperage or your power and for your circuit breakers or just what your load is and, and see if your breaker can hold it, or if you just got one type of equipment at the house and you're just wondering how many amps it is and it's not on the uh, uh, label, you can figure out by doing this as well, by doing the formulas and then going through all of it. So today we're going to go over a little bit about what all is going on of how to do your formulas and then go from there and then we'll, we'll be going we're going to do examples of R, I, E, and then also a P. Today, what formulas I'm going to put up on the board is just going to be example formulas. And then you're going to have different types of formulas to be able to f f figure them out. But uh, this is when, when we do this, this is for your basic electricity, electrical principle classes. And then further on, you, you'll be able to use this in uh, electrical principles motor controls, even robotics, PLCs, uh, so forth. And then in the industrial field as well, you'll be able to use this for knowledge. So a lot of people think, man, you got a lot of stuff up here on, on, the, uh, on your chart and it looks pretty difficult. But no, it's not. As long as you have a quarter of a wheel and you know exactly what you're finding, figuring out, a lot of people have troubles of we're trying to find uh, R, and then they're going down here and they find R. But you got to remember what you're looking for. This is what your total is, what you're looking for in the center of the wheel. And then you got to go outside to the branches and figure out what formula you're going to use. And here we got E and I, so we're going to figure out what R is. So, an example over here on the board, for example, say basic voltage is 120 volts. You got V, I, R. This is the easiest way to, to write out, uh, to figure out, and to keep in order to see what all you got. So we're just gonna make up numbers. We got 120 volts here, and we got uh, five amps right here. A stands for amps, and B stands for volts. So we, we're trying to figure out what R is. So if we come over here to the chart and we'll find out R, right here is R. And now we got to come up here. We know what our total voltage is and our total amps are. So we're going to do E divided by I. So if we get out a calculator and do 120 divided by five equals that will come up to a total of 24 ohms. So resistance and ohms is what we're going to go by. So the symbol for ohms is a ohm. It's a scientific uh, letter for ohm. So that is how we find out what R is. It's pretty simple. 
You just do uh, 120 divided by five, that'll equal 24. So we got resistance done here. Now let's do a uh, problem for current. We're going to write this up the same way. We're going to do V, I, R, don't put your equals down. So we're going to look for current and current is amps. So we got uh, say 5,000 ohms and 240 volts. So we're looking for I's. So we're going to the chart, to the formula. In the center is what you're going to be totaling to, and this is your current. So you're going to do here, you got E and R. Remember, E stands for voltage as well, so we're using V over here, but this is E. But we're going to, we, we can change it back and forth. It, this is just this, uh, the easiest chart that I have found for students to learn by and to focus on, and they use E instead of V. So we'll let them use that. So we're going to do E divided by R, and over here, he's going to do 240 divided by 5,000. That equals 0 0.048 amps. So we have now discovered what our amps is on this thing, on this uh, problem. So now we have done formula for I, for amperage, or current or resistance for R. So now we're going to find out what voltage is. We got V, I, R, and over here you can only do a EV to make them to match up with the charge. And so nobody gets confused on what's going on. So we're going to find out what our voltage is. So we're going to go down here. This is going to be 10 amps and this is going to be say um, 28 ohms. So we got 10 amps and we got 10 ohms. So we're figuring out what our voltage is right now. Is we're gonna look at this chart right here, this quarter of a session, and then we're gonna look at these three formulas. What are the two things that we know that we have the uh, problem to? We know we got the I, which is current or amps, and we know we got resistance. So by this formula, what we got, we're going to do I times R. So we're going to do 10, we're going to do 10 times 28, and that equals 280 volts. And now we have figured out all of these problems. So we have figured out how we get the total of voltage had to figure out we've got the total of amperage and the total of resistance. Now, you might be wondering and asking, so what is this P up here? What does this P stand for? The P is for power. We can now figure out what our power is on these formulas. So we'll go over here and put a P right underneath every one of them to figure out what our power is. So if you come over here, to your uh, wheel, to your own law wheel, and you can see we're gonna figure out power. Yes, we have I, I is current. We got I on every one of them. We got resistance on every one of them. And we got voltage on every one of them. We got current, then we got voltage, and we also got resistance. So the easiest one will be E times I. So over here, we can do for this problem number one, Number one here, this is number two, and this is probably number three. So over here on number one, we can do 120 times five. 120 times five, and that equals 600 watts. Power is going to stand for watts, W-A-T-T-S. So power is your wattage. Now, down here, we're gonna do 240. 240 times 0 0.048 equals 11.52 watts. And over here, we're going to do 280 times 10, that equals 2,800 
watts. So remember, watts is the same thing as power. And you've got two other different formulas that you want, if you want to do it, you can do uh, I, I squared times R. So we can do 0 0.048 um, square divided by 5,000, and that will give you the same number here. So that is a that is an introduction to Ohm's law, and this is how you'll be able to figure out what your voltage is, what your amperage, what your resistance, and also your power as well. So guys, I hope that uh, was uh, was a good lesson for you, and uh, we will continue this on uh, on next day. Thank you. Bye.